When I'm thinking of stuff to automate, sometimes I need to come at it by just considering the way I do things currently. Earlier this week, I was thinking about how I program. I decided to think about the physical nature of what I'm doing. I have my right hand on my mouse, my left hand on the keyboard, and I'm moving around, I'm typing keys. I did think, however, there is one thing that I use all the time, and I thought Auto Hockey can help me out with this, and that's moving to the arrow keys. I use the arrow keys. I actually hold down control and shift a lot to help me move around with the arrow keys. So if you didn't know, this actually works in any, well, almost any text editor. You hold down control, you can move your cursor between different words while you use the arrow keys. I love doing this. I do this all the time. And in fact, you can also hold down control and shift to select between different words. I find this faster in many cases than trying to select exactly what I want using mouse selection. And this is where I have my idea. I thought I can turn WASD into my arrow keys. Because if you remember what I said before, my right hand's on the mouse and my left hand's always on the left side of the keyboard. So I'm always around WASD. So I tried to hold down Alt. W, send up. Maybe you can copy that a few times. We'll have A, S, and D. I'm holding down Alt with my thumb and then I'm using WASD to use the arrow keys within VS Code. This is already pretty cool, but I didn't end up using it a whole lot because what would happen was I would try to hold shift to select multiple lines and it wouldn't work because there was no hockey for it. Or I would hold control to move between words and it didn't work. So I needed to come up with some more shortcuts. Um, plus, so this is gonna be the shift case and then I need to do control And that's the control case. And then I actually need one more that has control and shift if I want to do control and shift at the same time. So now I can do everything I was doing before. I can hold control to go between words. I can hold shift to select different lines. I can go back to control. So then I can select this whole comment, replace the comment. And I only had to leave my mouse to start typing. That's like the essence of the script. I actually did a little bit more with the script than I'm going to show you, but really you could take this and you could run with it and do whatever you wanted with, because this is my general idea. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you the final script that I am currently using. So here, basically what I'm doing is I thought I'd have some fun. I'd make some icons. Let me show the icons off. So I made some nice icons to show like on or off state. I'm using a menu tray to give me a toggle so I can turn it on or off without closing the, like one of the pet peeves of mine when it comes to writing scripts is I hate having to go and find my script and open it again. I just wanna always have it running and just turn it off within the script itself. I find that to be so much easier to know that everything's there and I can turn it on or off if I need it versus having to stop and go seek it out. And then I wrap the script active variable in a hotkey if. So if this variable is false, none of these hotkeys are gonna be registered. So if I need Alt W or Alt, uh, Alt Shift W for another program, I can turn it off and it's gone. And the nice thing about this too is it's not gonna work in just VS Code. Like if I open up my file explorer again, I can use Alt and uh, Alt WASD to navigate around here. So it really is pretty powerful and I can, I can see myself using it in a lot of applications. Oh yeah, let me show you the tray menu. So if we come down to my scripts, we can see I've got my WASD alt arrows. So if I right click on it, you can actually see the menu tray in action where it's coming up with this menu option. I can turn it off and you notice the icon turns gray. So I know it's not working. Then I turn it back on again and it works. So one thing to note, if you try to use the script, it's going to take some time to get used to. And to be honest, I'm not totally used to it yet. I'm still moving over to the arrow keys a lot out of uh, muscle memory. But you know, if you practice with something like this, like you could get used to it. And I do believe that if I spend some more time with it, I'm gonna get a lot better at remembering to use uh, the alt keys. But it's just like with any, any new hotkey, you're just gonna have to practice it. If you want this script, you can download it from my GitLab repository in the description.
If you like this video and want to see more automation scripts and tutorials, check out my other videos. See ya.